More updates to tell you about for the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 4 Pro. New firmware and DJI versions. Let's take a look at what's been changed. Hi, Todd from Blue Marble Videos here. DJI has been coming out with DJI Fly and firmware updates at a prodigious pace lately. And we have another set of updates to install. For the Mini 3 Pro, DJI Fly for the RC controller has been updated to version 1.13.10. The release notes in typical DJI fashion simply say, fixed some known issues and offer no further details. DJI, please throw us a bone and give us more information when you do these updates. I'd like to know what known issues were addressed and what other changes were made. The firmware for the aircraft has been updated to 01.00.0800 and the RC controller firmware is at 01.03.1600. Going through the various menus and settings, there appears to be no changes from previous versions. I am not certain what bugs were fixed in these new versions, so please let me know in the comments below if you've noticed bugs that have gone away after this update, or if any new bugs were introduced. For the Mini 4 Pro, DJI Fly on the RC2 controller has again likewise updated to version 1. 0.13.10 with same informative update notes from DJI letting us know in detail and with specifics that they fixed some known issues. The aircraft firmware at the time of this video remains at 01.00.0600. We're talking about the DJI Mini 4 Pro right now. And the RC2 controller firmware is at 02.02.0200. .02 .02 I read on some forums that it appears they may have addressed the poor battery life issue some people were having with the last update. So I went ahead and did a test flight on a full battery on the drone. Timing this got me the typical approximate 20 minutes, so it does seem to be back to normal. Again, I could see no other changes or issues addressed, so leave me any information in the comments below if you have noticed anything fixed or conversely, anything that's now broken with this latest update. If you're checking for updates on your aircraft or controllers, remember it's always a good idea to check all three places for updates and all four places when you include the FlySafe database update check as well. This is because each of these are checking for different updates, such as updates for the controller, for the aircraft, or for the new versions of the DJI Fly app itself. When you have both the aircraft and controller powered on, and you are in flying mode with the aircraft camera view on the screen, tap the three dots to get into the settings for your aircraft, then tap about, then tap check for updates to ensure your aircraft has the latest firmware. In the main controller screen, before you have powered on the aircraft itself, you can tap profile, then settings, to get at the other places for, to check for updates. From that screen, tap firmware update, then check for firmware updates. It's a good idea to check for FlySafe database updates as well. It's in the same location there, you'll see it. Both the Mini 4 Pro and the Mini 3 Pro also received new updates for the FlySafe database when I did this. Finally, even if no updates showed for any of those checks, again, from the settings screen, tap about. Then on the subsequent screen, tap Check for Updates. This seems to be the location to check for the DJI Fly updates themselves, rather than the controller or the aircraft firmware. It's a good habit to ensure you're checking all three for updates, really all four when including the FlySafe database update check. I hope this video helped you out, and I'd appreciate it if it did, if you could help me out by clicking those buttons down there. As always, thanks for watching, happy flying, and we'll see you next time.